Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday, December the 8th. I understand all the votes are supposed to be uh, certified today or something. I don't know. I'm just kind of hearing the, the background on the news. But we shall see. We shall see what will happen today. It uh, Contested elections are really something, aren't they? Well, I hope your day is going well, started off well. And uh, things well. I wanted to share today a little bit about grace. You know, the grace of God, if if you can merit or earn or purchase salvation, it is actually an insult to the great giver of grace. It truly is. It's great. For imagine, since the, we're talking about the White House a little bit, you going, suppose you were invited to go to the White House and, and uh, they were having a great big banquet, maybe a state dinner, and you were invited to go. And as you got to the um, got to the banquet, um, you were seated in a beautiful place, and the food oh, it was amazing, and it was just such a beautiful evening, and and you were eating dinner, and the music, and everything, and sitting and seeing the president. And on the way out, on the way out, you you stopped, and here's the president saying goodbye to everybody. And so as you were shaking hands with him, if you could, in COVID, as you're leaving. As you're leaving, you say, you know, that was such a beautiful evening. Uh, here, let me give you 20 bucks for, for something for the food. I, I appreciate that, which, of course, costs much, much more. But you would be, you'd be insulting the president and his gift to you for coming, wouldn't you? Yeah, that, that doesn't sound right, does it? Just, that just doesn't sound right that you would do that have this great gift that was given to you and that you would you would turn it and you say and turn it into well 20 bucks you know the bible is full of little photo pictures as it were picture word picture stories about grace in the scripture and one of them as you can wouldn't be hard to imagine would be king david let's suppose king david with all the uh, royal uh, throne and in his banquet room and in dinner and all the family has been gathered and they're eating their meal and everything has happened when you hear this clump slide clump slide clump slide and turning around and coming into the banquet area another clump slide clump slide and Mephibosheth who is extremely lame the son of Jonathan comes in and he finds his place at the king's table. The grace, the grace of King David to, to love Meshibajath. And when he gets in there, the tablecloth underneath and gets his place, his legs, his lame legs are covered up and now they can eat. What a beautiful story of the great grace of God. Perhaps one of the best and clearest passages in Scripture about the grace of God that Paul wrote was in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. And it said, For it is not, excuse me, for it is by, um, <clears throat> I'll start again. For it is by grace, for it is by grace that you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For, for by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not of yourselves, Paul's saying. It's not of your own earning, of your own merit. It is totally a gift. And you didn't earn it by works so that you wouldn't have anything to boast about. Say, so, well, I, I earned my way. To... There'll be no one in heaven who will be able to say, well, I got here because I had a great prayer life or because I gave to the church or because I walked the street or I keep the commandments. We'll all be there by the gracious gift of Christ. It's beautiful, really. Dear Lord, thank you for that great and gracious gift. I thank you for your love for us, and I thank you that we can call upon you as our Savior and Lord. 
be with us today. And as things unfold, we ask for your hand of mercy and understanding and grace to be passed on through all of us. Help with the anger in our land. Lord, we look forward to your coming in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Well, as many of you know, I'm going to be retiring. Uh, come the end of this year, in December 31 is my official uh, time off. I don't know who the new pastor will be. Uh, they are looking and searching for that, so that's a good thing for them to do, uh, to be the new pastor. I don't know if he's going to have a morning devotional or not, uh, but I will be ending that uh, come the end of this year. Uh, but it's been wonderful to be with you, and uh, may God's grace be with you. God's grace be with you, his graciousness to us all. All right, God bless and have a wonderful day today, will you?